This video shows the installation of the Falcon Shocks leveling system on Chevy Silverado 1500 and GMC Sierra 1500 trucks. It fits on all models from 2014 through 2018. Changing the front shocks requires removal of the front strut assemblies. Begin by disconnecting the tie rod. Remove the sway bar link. Remove the lower strut bolts. Detach the cables connected to the upper strut studs. Remove the upper strut nuts and the strut should drop out. Before installing the front Falcon shocks, you will need to determine the desired ride height. These shocks have four options, stock, medium, level, and heavy accessory. The shocks are preset to level. This setting will eliminate the need for leveling spacers. The stock setting will leave the truck at factory ride height. Medium sets the ride height halfway between stock and level, while the heavy accessory setting is designed for those with heavy bumpers, winches, or other accessories. This setting will maintain a level ride height even with increased weight. Place the front bump stops onto the shaft with the wide end towards the top. After the ride height has been determined, have a qualified mechanic separate the spring from the original shock body using a spring compressor, and install the spring onto the Falcon shock body. Be sure the grease circ aligns with the outer stud on the upper end. The zerk will face the wheel. The strut mount and washer need to be drilled out to half an inch to accommodate the improved shaft size of the Falcon shock. Remove this small spacer from the strut assembly. Falcon shocks have been designed to compensate for the spacer. Apply anti-seize and run the shaft nut on. Then release the compressor before torquing to 40 foot-pounds. Use a pry bar between two upper studs to limit rotation. It is very important that you do not over tighten this nut. Over tightening can damage the shock. With the grease cirque facing the wheel, install the upper studs into the strut tower. The added length at the level setting may require some prying to align the bar pin with the control arm bolt holes. Be aware of the small spring on the dust boot. If this pops off during installation, simply use a pick to set it back into place. Use the original bolts and attach the bar pin to the lower control arm. We have provided nuts to act as jam nuts on the bar pin. Torque to 40 foot-pounds. Torque the upper strut nuts to 37 foot-pounds and reconnect the cables. Reinstall the sway bar link and tighten to 17 foot-pounds. Reconnect the tie rod, tighten this nut to 26 foot-pounds, plus an additional 90 degrees. To install the rear Falcon shocks, support the axle and remove the current shocks. Install the Falcon shocks with the shaft up and the Falcon sticker facing out. Use the stock hardware and torque to 85 foot-pounds. To install the rear Falcon bump stops, remove the factory bump stops and install the Falcon bump stop mounts using the provided 6mm hex cap bolt and tighten to 37 foot-pounds. Lubricate the Falcon bump stop and install by pushing up while twisting. That's it for this install, thanks for watching. Now go see what Falcon shocks are made of.